On the streets of Kathmandu, it's an intimidating sight. Members and supporters of Nepal's Maoist party exercising in the morning. Thousands of people have been arriving in the city to join the party's May Day rally. Leaders claim that by Saturday there will be a crowd of half a million. Many are staying in public and private buildings around the city. 500 Maoists have taken over this private hospitality venue. We are here to make May Day successful. Before we used to celebrate in our villages, but this time we are here in Kathmandu. These Maoist supporters are here not only for Saturday's demonstration, but also to implement the indefinite general strike called by the party's leadership starting the 2nd of May. The background for this strike is a looming deadline for Nepal's new constitution, scheduled to be completed by the 28th of May, a deadline that will certainly be missed. The Maoists are demanding that a people's constitution be written by a national unity government led by them. In 2008, the Maoists emerged from landmark election with two times as many seats in the assembly as their nearest rivals. But last May, they quit the government after the president reinstated the army chief sacked by the Maoist prime minister. Since then, relations between the Maoists and the other parties have deteriorated. The government claims that the Maoists are not committed to democracy and have not dismantled the paramilitary group, the Young Communist League. The Maoists argue that the government has resisted radical reform demanded by the country's majority poor. The plan is to use street protests to send a clear message to the government but they deny they will resort to violence. The movement will be entirely peaceful and the May Day rally will be totally peaceful. So we have trained some volunteers to control the masses of the people so that no untoward incident will take place. And the government tries to provoke and if anything happens, then the government should take the responsibility, not us. But reports of the Maoists training with knives and sticks around the country have alarmed the authorities. On the one hand, we've been increasing the pace of dialogue and we hope that there will be a consensus amongst the political parties. On the other, the state has to ensure that law and order is maintained and the state will work towards making sure that the situation does not get out of control. Locals in the city are already frustrated by smaller warm-up demonstrations by the Maoists. The worst case, of course, is if uh, the violence uh, spirals out of control and if small instances lead to violence and uh, lead to police retaliation and Maoists reacting and then, then the situation is under nobody's control and then the government is forced uh, to bring the army out and that would basically mean the end of the peace process. No one in Kathmandu is able to predict what will happen next, but the city is braced for a week of high tension and drama. Subina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.